Good morning. Yes, it is morning. It's 6.30. You're all probably wondering, what the hell are you doing up at 6.30? Well, I gotta leave the house by about 7 o'clock to get to school because I don't know when the bus leaves. So I have to be... I'm pretty much gonna walk to school. Yay. Doctor's appointment at lab class. I really hope that it takes like 15 minutes. And then I'm just going to sleep in front of Heron until 9 o'clock. Probably going to just sleep in front of the classroom. <sighs> but today really is going to... I'm going to come home, crash for a bit after... Like, oh man, I'm, <laughs> sucks, so badly. So the appointment's over. I'm not, I'm hopefully not infectious. We, uh, they tested for strep, I'm negative. <coughs> I get to keep a wonderful mask to cough into though. Uh, it's pretty much just Sudafed and Benadryl. Pretty much this, well, except for at home, it probably would have been Tylenol and Benadryl. But I just had the worst ever experience. Not, no, they're great. No, one of the treatments, though, was basically a reverse salt water uh, gargle. Little tubes of salt water go in the nose. And you've got to basically breathe in without inhaling it into your throat and it clears out all the sinuses <laughs> only about half of it actually got through because it was just so terrible it's like you have to combat your natural instincts of don't inhale when there's water around your water in your nose but, since I'm all clear, and actually, uh, I really am clear, my, my nose isn't plugged at all, but, uh, yeah, it's, since I'm clear to go to class, I'm not infectious and have to go home immediately, I'm now on schedule for class. But the stuff she gave me is apparently going to make me wired like I've had coffee. Which will be good because <laughs> I've been dozing off in film. And it's probably not the best thing. So, we'll see. And you know, if things get worse, come back, of course. But I just hope that it's not something really, really bad because apparently. The wonderful kissing disease can be, you know, somebody gets their spit on a doorknob, they don't know they've got it, and because they're the, they're the frickin' lucky ones, am I right? They touch a doorknob, you touch the same doorknob, and then, you know, you're sweating, so you wipe your face, especially since it's really hot here. Bam. You have it without even kissing anybody. You don't have to share. You don't have to do it. You don't have to share a drink with somebody to get mono. That was the one th that was the one way I was going to avoid it. It's not fair. <laughs> but uh Yeah, apparently the what's better for you when you've got a cough and like a sore throat is to suck on lemon drops. Forget the cough drops. Cough drops aren't going to do anything. It's the sugar in the cough drops that helps your sore throat. So you can suck on a cough drop, which a bag of them costs probably about twice as much as a bag of lemon drops.
Lovely, right? Well, you don't have to look. God. <coughs> there. Save you guys from the horrible sight. Of course, that probably jostled your brain just to... Oh, did it again. Oh, man. I need to start working my upper body. This, just holding my arm like this to talk with you guys is killing me. It's killing the shoulder. Here's hoping that I get a lot better real soon. At least I'm not running a fever or have, you know, something else wrong. At least it's just minor. Well, it's definitely official. My film class is so boring. If somebody has coffee, they can fall asleep. Because I, I do feel more awake. But sitting in that seat, listening to him talk, oh my god, I was drifting off to sleep, but my body kept saying, hey, wake up. You got too much energy to fall asleep. But I was still, <laughs> I was still crashing. Uh, I'm excited. Dairy cows. The uh, the wonderful, wonderful cows that we all love that give us our wonderful milk. Uh, I just want to get the weekend over with. So apparently, my paper, which I thought was due Friday, is actually due Tuesday. Yeah. Shit. It means it's got to get done this weekend. No me no screwing around, no goofing off, it has to be done. As well as the salmonella one. Because I've also got a test to study for on Tuesday. I'm just... I'm tired of being sick. I really hope I get my bike back today. I really do. Not, I'll just ride the bus again and then try and ride the bus again to school because I missed it this morning, so I had to walk all two miles to the uh, the wonderful place. I can't even think of what it's called right now. The Student Health Center. It looks like they got the goats out for us to play with today. Yep, that's the other part of the lab. Goats. Should be fun. Remember, lab days, two videos. Don't miss the second one. We close them off the top of the teeth, so right where the udder and the teeth meet. And then you have to let go so that the teeth sister can fill back up. Then. Thank you. 
a number on their ear tag, on the right ear tag, your left, their right. They actually have their first name on that. And some of them are born like And I, I, I don't know who they are. Who's there? touching them. And some, like I said, jerseys, they're small, so maybe it was born prematurely or maybe it's been sick and that's why it's not as big. But it happens. Animals get sick. Um, we also, once the calves are moved, once they get to be two months old about, they will move them into another area so that they keep the two to four months old uh, calves, I guess, together. It's usually separated, not just because of size, but